What is not there does not break, said that jolly Henry Ford good soul, but evidently his aim was to streamline and speed up the production process as much as possible in such a way as to simplify the task to be assigned to each individual worker, namely that inventing the assembly line and unknowingly opening the doors to future robotic automation that will return the unstoppable exhaustion of lifetime to human beings, perhaps to devote to graceful dances on the favorite social network of the moment. Certainly at that time he managed to please the average American by giving him a motorized seat at an affordable price, while in Europe it remained for many decades still a luxury for the few. To date, Fordin not only seems to have revisited the aphorism of the aforementioned founder in what does not exist does not cost, therefore, for example, all the parts that are not structurally relevant are made of plastic and sometimes of dubious quality, even if in some cases, plastic can bring not only economic benefits, therefore it is not uncommon, especially for elderly vehicles, that during scheduled repairs other not foreseen ones have to be added. In fact, in addition to the planned replacement of the bulb, I had to insulate electrical cables with a crushed sheet and weld a plastic support of the broken light. The main cause of premature deterioration of light bulbs is overvoltage and voltage fluctuations, for example when switching the vehicle on and off, but also vibrations of the light and incorrectly insulated cables can significantly reduce its operating life, therefore it is always advisable to restore the light as much as possible to its original conditions in its entirety. Quindi è sempre opportuno ripristinare il fanale il più possibile alle condizioni originarie nella sua interezza. To disassemble this type of light, just unscrew the three torx screws and disconnect the electrical connector by pressing lightly on the plastic stop on the connector. I remove the rubber cap to access the position light bulb and the high and low beam. I check the condition of the direction indicator bulb. Check the status of the position light bulb. The sheath of the electric cables is deteriorating. Use of self-extinguishing insulating tape to restore the insulation of electrical cables. I replace the position light bulb. To remove the high beam and low beam bulb, simply remove the two spring clips and extract the bulb.
There are various types of bulbs, in this case it is of type H4 which has the functionality of both high beam and low beam. Put some electrical tape on the wire that has cracks. I mount the new bulb by connecting it to the connector, inserting it into the bulb holder and re-hooking the two spring clips. The bulbs are perfectly positioned. I close everything with the rubber cap. One of the three support brackets is almost completely broken, then I proceed to repair it. I do a brief cleaning of the light. I make two 2 mm holes on the flaps to be joined. I clean the shavings and remove the excess plastic. I degrease the parts to be welded. I connect the two holes with an electrician clamp. I seal everything with hot glue for plastic materials and tighten the zip tie before the glue hardens. Sigillo il tutto con della colla a caldo per materiali plastici e stringo la fascetta prima che la colla indurisca. I remove the excess glue with a cutter. Not seeing a part exposed to sight, I don't care about the aesthetics, but only about the good functionality of the piece. Reassemble the light by connecting the electrical connector, repositioning it in its seat and tightening the three Torx screws. The headlight is perfectly stable again. I check that all the lights are working properly.
Thanks for watching the video so far. I hope I have been helpful and pleasantly entertained you. If you haven't already, comment, share, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. Bye bye.